he wanted to spend his life saving other people. And in fact, a 17-year-old boy is saving other people even after death. Just not in the way his grieving mother ever hoped or expected. Here's Seth Kaplan. I had fallen asleep because usually when Andrew comes home, he always says, hey, mom, I'm home. Nicole Rohrbaugh talking about her son, 17-year-old Andrew Carabinos. Instead, my husband said, hey, Nicole, there's, uh, you know, there's cops at the door. Two state troopers. Andrew had been in an accident while driving, navigating an S-curve along Hunterstown Hampton Road in Strayman Township. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I just sat on the stairs and he's like, he was flown to York Hospital. I'm like, okay. Got my keys. So then I got to the hospital and, you know, they said that he had a cracked skull. Still, maybe it wasn't as bad as it sounded. And then the neurosurgeon came out and said that he had a severe um, blunt force trauma to his brain and that he wasn't, uh, he couldn't guarantee that he was going to live. So he needed to know what I wanted to do. And I said, I wanted him to save my son. Briefly, that seemed possible. He did have some positive movements, but then by the weekend, it just all started like pretty much disappearing. And he was just pretty much living off the ventilator. And then that unimaginably difficult decision none of us would ever want to have to make about taking Andrew off life support. But what it turned out had consequences, not just for his own life. When Andrew got his license, um, I asked him if he wanted to be an organ donor because I was one. He, he wanted to be like me. A decision a lot of us have made, but then came a far tougher one. What I thought about organ donation was not what I learned. I thought that, you know, when you, you're taking off the vent, pretty much everything is donated. Your heart, every, everything that they could take. I learned that you have to be brain dead in order to do the heart. And other organs. The issue? He would never go brain dead because his stem was attached. She had to take him off the ventilator and then he had to die within 90 minutes of that for his organs to help other people live. She did and he did. That was Friday. Already. The guy in New York got his liver and kidney. At 17, Andrew was already a volunteer firefighter in two departments, most actively in East Berlin. He was preparing to become a Marine. He was just just the most lovable kid and most respectful kid. He was the most given person. Was, and thanks to the organs he donated, still is. In Adams County, Seth Kaplan, ABC 27 News.